the mega city is a reality. And it looks a lot like the visions of science fiction films. Giga cities are soon to be. In the midst of this cold, bleak vision of the future, we have the human being. It is personal, warm, social. Nobody knew that the way we built cities had any influence on lifestyles and people's life. I think we made a lot of the same mistakes as the uh, Western countries has made. We're living in a world that's choked with traffic everywhere, where we've made our own human living environment deadly for people. You actually walking towards a chaos created by yourself. City planning has been going on for quite a number of years with a rather incomplete toolbox. To refocus all of those engineers and planners, you needed new quantitative tools. And that's what Yan helped us do. Get the baseline data, set some targets, now let's plan our street to meet them. It's giving people just a little bit of a taste of like what their lives could be like if the space were designed for them. What? Times Square has no square. 89% uh, of it isn't even a square. We needed to change the math. Melbourne was, in fact, dying. Almost no population living in the city. And we were asked to write a strategy for change. And all we did was listen to the people. But actually, I thought the sidewalk had gone through here as well. Uh, at one point. It had been changed. To... They changed it back? Yeah. Life comes when you give people a chance to contribute something. People need spaces to come and, come and do that kind of thing, to just come and dance. If you see life, if you see how it grows, then when you grow up, you will take care of lives of others. So when we turn a city into a place where you don't walk, your kids don't walk, you are raising generations. When they grow up, they will be not human. Now we have started the journey. Now we are in the middle of the bridge. Now I can set up my journey, okay? Which way I can go?